because I'm going to change the wind to the north, start sure. pushing the kind of passive fire. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We are the Brothers Mervin. Today we are playing Fire Tower. In Fight fire with fire. With fire. By Goliath Games, who are sponsoring this playthrough. Thank, Thank you Goliath. so much, Goliath Games. We appreciate it. Yeah, this is a game where we each have our own fire tower. We're essentially pushing fire to the other person, trying it's, to burn down their tower. It's not personal. I just don't want my tower to burn down. That's a fair sentiment, right? Yeah. Indeed. So we're going to go into a quick overview of Fire Tower, and then we're going to get right into a two-player playthrough. Thank you again so much to Goliath Games, and let's get into Fire Tower. In Fire Tower, players will be spreading out and putting out fires in order to protect their fire tower and burn down the towers of their opponents. The winds will be blowing, helping spread the fire, and there are also firestorms which can cause things to get even more chaotic. On a turn, the active player will first add a fire gem adjacent to another fire gem or the eternal flame, and this must be in the direction the wind is currently blowing. So for example, if the wind was blowing to the south, I would have to place a gem closer to that edge of the board. Next, the active player can either discard as many cards as they like from their hand and draw back up to their hand limit of five cards, or they can play one card from their hand hand as an action. There are four main types of cards in the game. Fire cards, water cards, wind cards, and fire break cards. Fire cards are the best at spreading fire around and threatening your opponent's tower. Each type of fire card will act differently and their effects are listed on the card. For example, a burning snag will allow you to place four fire gems in four spaces making a square, and you can even do this around fire break tokens. At least one fire gem must be adjacent to a pre-existing fire source. If you want to combat fire, use water cards. These cards will often allow you to remove fire gems in the same shapes as fire cards and they can help you cool things down. Wind cards give you an option of either changing the wind to face the direction shown on the card, allow you to roll the wind die to change the wind to a direction other than one that it's already facing, or it allows you to place one fire gem in the direction shown on the wind card, effectively spreading against the direction of the current wind. Lastly, there are fire break cards which allow you to place fire break tokens which will help create barriers against the spreading of fire, often making your opponents go around. Players will take turns around the table, spreading and removing fire, and players should note that if fire ever enters their fire tower area, those gems cannot be removed unless that player uses their buff. Bucket. Each player has a bucket which allows you to remove three fire gems in a straight line and at least one gem must be in your fire tower area. Once the bucket is used up, that card is flipped over to Reckless Abandon and allows you to spend three water or fire break cards to place two fire gems immediately. If a player ever has the orange square in the corner of their fire tower area burned, that tower burns down and that player is eliminated and the last player with a fire tower standing wins. Welcome to California Most Falls. Yeah, Most Falls. Uh, yeah. The forest uh, fires have been a thing for us here in California. Thankfully, our fire tower attendants don't send fire at other people. They don't have, like, big fans, you know. No, yeah. not yeah, so luckily. much. So. Get wrecked, Rick. Uh, but that's what we're doing here. So <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be first because the fire is closest to my Indeed. tower here. Indeed. So the first thing you do on your turn is put out a uh, fire token in the, the direction. the flame to start with. Yeah, in the direction of the wind, which in this case... Uh, um, is east, mm -hmm. and so I guess I'll put it here. They're kind of all my direction, which is not great. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, flare up for my turn. I'm gonna put three in a line. Uh, oh, do I go? Let's go bop, bop, bop. We'll go this way. Interesting. We'll go like that. What's your motive, man? Burning you. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, all right, my turn. The, the wind is still going to the east. I'll go east of the eternal flame here. Yeah, makes sense. I'm gonna play a burning snag. So I'm gonna put a kind of a square of four fire a gems. A square of fire! As <laughs> adjacent. That's can the you fire make is in a perfect cube. Like perfectly cube. Probably science can do anything these days. Science can do fire. That's a miracle. So this goes into a square, has to be adjacent to another I do fire hate that. source. Alrighty. I'm gonna put one east. I guess we'll go here. Right down there. Be great. Right here. Be awesome. Just over there. Uh, and then I'm gonna do smoke jumper. Smoke jumper, he jump smoke. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave this fire here, but I'm gonna get rid of the eight around it. Dang. Bam. All right. Get out of here. That's a good play, that's a good play. Uh, all right, we're gonna go to the east still. I'll go here. And mm. like I said, <laughs> burning snag. Square, what I say? <laughs> fire only. Boom. Put it in Boom. a cube. It's safest in a cube, everyone knows that. All right, square fire. That's called science. <laughs> okay, boom. All right, Just I'm like gonna that. put this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a dozer line. Mm. Um, and this is gonna put out two fire breaks adjacent to each other. I'm gonna go, let's go here and here. Mm. Kind of just get in the way a little bit. Good play, good play. Okay. Um. 
I need cool. to change this wind. This is what I need to change. All right. Now I'm good with the wind to the east. No, I don't like it at all. Let's go here. There's so much more fire on my part of the board. <laughs> Uh, let's do that, and I'm just gonna put a little deforest or reforest. Oh, fire break, just kind of. Yeah, Ooh, so that way you can remove a fire break or place a fire break. Okay. Well, you know what? Ooh, you could remove one of mine. I'm kind of. No, I'm gonna stick with what I did because okay. I, I can maybe get around. Fair. I can maybe get around. Fair. But I could have. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sticking with it. Stick All with right. It. Oh, let's go ahead and put this. We'll go here, and then I am going to play. A northerly wind. Mm. So I can change the direction to the wind to the north, roll a die to choose a new direction, or I'll place one fire gem uh, in the north. I'm going to change the wind to the north, start sure. pushing the kind of passive fire. Uh, okay, okay, we can do that. I will go here with my now northerly, northerly fire one, gem. Indeed. I'm going to play flare up, so I have to place three so in a fire cards. line. Hate this. All right, so it has to be adjacent to another fire source. I'm going to go here. Oh, my Lord. Say, excuse me, dear little fire breaks. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Just trying to get to that tower over there. <laughs> Just trying to get to this old tower. All right, I'm going to go bop for my passive flame. Um, and I'm just going to airdrop, and I'm going to get rid of those three. <laughs> sure. Boop. Get out of here. Sure, sure. I like it. Okay, I'm going to place fire to the north. Oof. And then we're going to change the wind. To the east. Oh, come on. Much better that way. Yes, Much sir. Much better this way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll go here. We're going to smoke jump out. Do 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 and explosion. Oh my gosh. I, I undo. <laughs> you have so many fire cards. <laughs> so here you take uh, an existing fire gem and you put a fire break in it and then fire goes on all the eight surrounding spaces. So yep. the anti-smoke jumper. It's literally the exact opposite. Yeah. But hey. Hey. It's more fun this way. We out here. We're out here. Fire everywhere. All righty. I'm going to go here. I think I'll play Burning Snag. So this is where I can place a uh, four gems in the shape of a square. Square life. Boom. Start do, 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 creeping do, do, your way a little do, do. bit. Square life. Okay. Oof. All right. Fire's blowing to the east. Let's go here. And then let's play a flare up. I guess all the fire cards. <laughs> So I'm going to go one, oh, no. this would be in a straight line, two, and three, into your fire tower Oh area. my gosh, this is so bad. Because you can't put fire breaks in your fire towers. No. And the only way to get fire out of your fire tower is to use your bucket. But I don't want to use it right now sure because I can only use it. Well, maybe I should. No, nah, I don't. Because it'd push you back a little bit. Yeah, you know, I'm going to use my bucket. So use your bucket, you can get rid of three fire in a straight line, and at least one of them has to come from your fire tower. It's the only way to get fire out of your fire tower. Yep. So I'm gonna take these three, because then you'll have to do some work to get back in sure. my fire tower. But now, I can only use my bucket once per game, and I have reckless abandon. So if my bucket is empty, I can use my turn to discard a set of three water cards or three fire break cards to place two fire gems, and then I'll draw back up to my hand size. All right. Okay, and then I actually get to do my turn because the bucket is not your action. So, who you know what? I got three fire break cards. Let's do a little reckless abandon. Oh my gosh, you wanted so me to I'll do that. So I'll get these, and then I will place two gems adjacent to another gem. So we're just gonna go pop, pop. We're slowly creeping, mm. slowly creeping towards Mikey, and then I'll draw back up to my five. Uh oh, fire storm! Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. So there's one Firestorm event in the deck. So this is a Firestorm. So what's going to happen is we're going to roll the wind die. Please don't be south or east. And then we're going to put fire gems adjacent to every, every gem day. in that direction. South. Please be not east. 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 South is only the only really bad one for you. Yes. So we're going to go east. 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 <laughs> east. East. Oh, one there. The eternal flame. Oh, sorry. Oh, east. Here. 
east. That's honestly not that east. bad for you. No, it's, it's not it's that just bad. Kind of in the middle. I would have preferred north because then they would have gone more yeah. that way. Oh, okay, so we did right. that, and then we'll roll for a new direction. So now the wind is going to change just generally to the west. That's nice. Uh, and then all players may discard cards and draw back up to their hand size. Mm. Um, I'll discard two. Discard four. I'll discard one. All right, and that's the Firestorm card. All right, so we got fire going to the west now, and I'm going to play an air drop. You're going to put it right there? Huh? Yeah, because I'm going to play an airdrop on Oh, fire. okay. I was like, uh, wow. Yeah, it's all good. They're gone. Gone already. Hey, man. I will put one here. Um, And then... I'm going to play a fire engine. Now I can get rid of four fire gems in the shape of a square. I think I'll do these three. Boom. Yeah. Okay, fire still going to the west. We'll go here, and then I think I will play a fire engine as well and get rid of Ugh. these three. It's just a little further. Hate that. Just a little further. Hate away. that for me. We go boom, and then hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and play a deforest reforest, and I am going to blop a fire break here. Just, just make your life a little weird. <laughs> All right, we're still blown to the west. I'm just gonna go right there. Uh, and then I'm gonna change the the wind to the east. <laughs> Much Dang better it. in the east. Much better in the east. Yes. Um, I guess I'll go here. Um, hmm. Want to do, you know what? I'm going to uh, discard four cards, draw four cards. So that could be your turn where you discard cards and draw back up to your limit because I didn't love what was in there. So, yeah. All right, we're still to the east with the wind, so I'll go there. Then I'm going to play a dozer line. Let's get a couple of fire breaks mm. just uh, yeah. here and there. Okay. Oof, I don't like that, like at all. <laughs> Um, okay, I am going to put one to the east. Let's go here. I'm gonna go ahead and play a burning snag. Mm. And I'm gonna put three. This firebreak is gonna get my way, but I can kind of can kind of like loop around it a little bit there. Hmm. Yes, you can. Okay. Fire's gonna go to the east again. Oh, I hate that. And then. I will do an airdrop, and you have so much water. And maybe earlier you're talking about how much fire I have. You gotta choose something you're happy mm -hmm. with. I'm gonna Never. do those two, so I won't get all three, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay. Boom. I am going to let's change the wind to the west. Mm. Get it over there. Okay. So to the west now, we'll go here, and I say, uh, south sounds great. <laughs> south fire. South fire. Um, hmm. I'm gonna play, uh, I'm sorry, I need to put a gem to the south. I'll put it right here. I'm gonna play this north. I'm gonna do the third option. I'm gonna place one fire gem north of another fire gem. So basically, Go against the wind. Go against the wind a little bit there. I like it. Okay, wind still blown south. I'll go here with that. And um, I'm going to discard a couple cards and draw back up. So I think I'm going to discard these two and just draw cards. Okay. Um, to the south, I'm going to go boom. I think it's time for an explosion. Oh, God. So we're gonna put a fire break here. Okay. And then put fire all around it. Bam. Bam. Yeah. Bam. Not Bam. ideal. Bam. <sighs> okay. Um. Boop. Don't love it. All right. Don't love Fire's it. Fire's blown to the south. Oh. There you go there. I don't have a bucket. 
I got an explosion of my own. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna go here with a fire break, and we'll put a little fire into. Oh no. Your area. There are a bunch of fire breaks around, which kind of limits the ability. But I do get three into your. Yeah. Into you your sure main, do. Your hot zone. And I use my bucket, so I can. There's no way for me to get that fire out of my fire tower. Well, there we go. Boom. Let's put that back on top. Right. Okay. Fire still going to the south. We'll go there. Um, let's do another explosion. So now we're going to take this one out. Boom. Go bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. All right. That's, that's feeling that heat. Feeling that heat. All right, so we got fire no. blowing to the south. No, don't do I'm it. I'm going to play an ember as one little ember goes, <laughs> takes on the wind, floating around, bobbing, weaving, diving, boom. <laughs> God. Okay. The problem is I had a flare up, so I was going to go like one, two, three, yeah, I knew right I was in, in there. I knew I was in danger. Dang like, it. I got to get this down right now. Man. All right. Yeah, you got in there. Southerly wind. So that was Boom. Fire Tower. That tower, very close. I was one turn yeah, away we from were the each, we were each right there. Oh, man. Mike <laughs> got me just right there. So that is Fire Tower again. Big, big shout out to Goliath Games for sponsoring this playthrough. Oh, so, yeah, big shout out to them. Absolutely. Go check out Fire Today, uh, Fire Tower today if it seems like a game you'd enjoy. Until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We're the Brothers of Murph. We'll catch you all next time at the Game House. Bye, everybody.